fellow Catholics. This is a bit of a different video, but I stumbled upon something on the internet that I thought I'd like, I thought I'd make you aware of. CERN, as you may aware, be aware of, is the super collider that has been built in Switzerland. And it's um, one of the largest, if not the largest scientific experiment ever created on Earth. Now, there are some interesting aspects to the location of this super collider that I thought I'd make you aware of. And one of the questions is, that always comes up is, uh, actually it shouldn't be, a it's not even a question, is one of the things that they always mention is the fact that it borders on Switzerland and France. It touches, it's mostly in Switzerland, but it touches on parts of France. And, which is kind of odd, but they always tout it as, as the, it's a European thing, it's a joint venture which I say to that, whatever. But there's always a reason for everything. So I decided to use Google Earth and show you a few interesting tidbits about this very interesting location. CERN is located, again, as part Switzerland, small part of France, but it's not because of the borders uh, that it lies in a specific area that it does. Uh, in fact, the reason that it's on two different borders is because the borders are irrelevant. It is because it is a specific and precise position that they wanted to put this thing in. So using the information from their website and uh, and on Google Maps, I was able to actually plot all four main points to the um, to the collider. There's the CMS, there's the Atlas, there's the LHC, and then of course there's the Alice, or whatever that is. Now, once I plotted those four locations, I couldn't believe my eyes. I knew exactly what those points represented. Those points basically are the four points of the peace sign. So you may ask, well, what's the big deal with the peace sign? Well, the peace sign has nothing to do with peace. The peace sign is a symbol for an idiom of turning something upside down. When you invert something or flip it completely over, it creates chaos. And think about it. The peace sign came around, showed up in the very late, six, uh, late 50s, early 60s, right at the time that the church was going through the most tumultuous time it ever has. The period of Vatican II. And it has been in chaos ever since. The peace sign is an inverted chasuble of the priest, as you can see in this picture. This was the symbol that they used to flip upside down that represents the chaos that they will inflict on the church. The Catholic Church from 1917 to 1960 was absolutely the, the largest vocal opponent to communism. And that is why they chose that symbol. It is an attack against the church. So looking at CERN's logo, which I'm sure most of you have already seen, 
it looks like a chaotic numbers of sixes scattered everywhere. And let me tell you, that's on purpose. The six, six, six implied on there was not an accident. It, it was intentional. And it is the reason why it is placed where it is. If we go back to my four markers on the map and we overlay the um, geographical grid on there, you will notice that the entire loop, the, the whole entire collider sits exactly on the sixth degree east of the prime meridian. And it's on the sixth degree, but no farther than the sixth minute. So it sits right in the center. And if you look at the latitude, it's on the 46th degree latitude. Four points on the sixth degree. Friends, these people are psychotic. Pure evil. And the last item is the item that I happened to see on a video on YouTube. And that's the collider schedule for 2015, for certain. And the observation was that it had the religious holidays listed on there. And you don't see it on this uh, snapshot, but it includes even Christmas. Very strange as to why they would have this on there. Um, so for, I mean, the Good Friday on the, on the second graph there on the second, on the bottom half, they have Good Friday, which is hidden behind where it says machine checkout. And then Easter Monday on the 15th week there on May 6th, which is just, um, why they would have Easter Monday. There's no such thing as Easter Monday, but there is Easter Sunday the day before. And that whole period between Holy Week and Wit Sunday, if you look on week 22, Wit, for those of you that don't know, means Pentecost Sunday. Uh, it's the same thing for Pentecost Sunday that they use that term in England. You have Ascension Thursday, May 1st, which is also Friday, so the first Friday devotion, and May being devoted to Mother Mary. Why do they have those dates on here? And it is the recommissioning with beam. Very, very odd. If you don't understand that there's a religious war going on, a spiritual battle, get your head out of the sand. Okay, these people are absolutely evil. Those holidays are not on there to commemorate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sending down of the Holy Ghost on Pentecost Sunday. Those dates are there because they want to crush the Christians. There's a battle against those that follow our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we're up against. Get your head out of the sand and start looking at what's going on in the world. We are already at war. Okay, The shedding of blood of the innocent unborn is a war that was started on the second half of the 20th century just like Mother Mary said it would. And like every war, it will end in a horrific, horrific, terrible chastisement. But the majority of people got their heads up their 
sand and don't see it. This is a spiritual battle. It doesn't matter if they're finding third dimensions, fifth dimensions, whatever. It's irrelevant what they're doing over there. The bottom line, even if this is all a hoax, which is not, because you can look up the LHC schedule 2015 and it'll take you right to the CERN website. You can download it yourself in PDF format. Whether this is a joke or whether this is what they actually believe, it's irrelevant. These people are, it's like a child playing with matches. It doesn't matter what its intent is or his intent is, he's going to get burned. These people are evil. Okay? They do need our prayers, but they are evil. They want to follow Satan. Okay? They believe that he will give them infinite power. He will become like God's.